In this morning's Health Watch, what's being touted as a breakthrough in curing the common cold. Every year we catch about a billion colds in this country, with the average adult suffering through two to four infections. Here with some cold advice is the warm Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Good doctor. Good morning, Maggie. First, help us put into perspective this article out of the UK this morning that claims that a remarkable discovery uh, has been made in curing the common cold. Well, what British researchers are reporting, Maggie, is that they've discovered a protein inside a cell that actually boosts the cell's virus-killing machinery, if you will, which is important because right now there's no cure for viruses, just treatment. Now, this is a long ways off. It's a few years away. They're just looking at it in the lab now, but potentially this is very exciting for the cold virus and the norovirus and rotavirus that cause the gastrointestinal illness that plagues so many people oh, during the yes. winter. And there are actually 200 different viruses that can cause a cold. Exactly. What are some ways to prevent getting one altogether? Well, a recent study actually done in North Carolina looked at a group of people, just over a thousand people, followed them for three months during the cold season and asked them to record how much exercise they did and when they did get colds, what their symptoms were like. And they found that people who exercised five or more times a week, they were actually sweating for a minimum of 20 minutes, had 46% reduction in the huh. length of their cold and a 41% reduction in the severity of the cold symptoms. So again, one more piece of evidence that suggests that when we exercise, we really stimulate the immune fighting cells in our body and potentially reduce the impact of the cold virus. So I guess it's good to sweat a lot, but it's also, I've always heard, good to drink a lot to prevent getting a cold. Absolutely. And you know, that's that's another thing that the, the CDC reports that actually hydration, we know it's important not just for cold prevention, but really for our overall health. Most people are too busy to really hydrate themselves well enough. And we say use the urine test. Your urine should be almost clear. If it is, you know that you're getting enough water because that's it. the best way to hydrate yourself. How much of a role does stress play in catching a cold? huge role because we know that chronic stress, we're not talking about the occasional everyday stressors that we all face, but chronic stress really a month or more really does have a severe impact on our immune system, Maggie. It suppresses our immune system. So people who are under chronic stress are more susceptible to colds. And interestingly enough, also people who are not very social, who don't have a diverse social network mm -hmm. also can be more susceptible to colds. So it's huh. actually something you want to It's counterintuitive. You think the more right. people you're around, the more colds you That's get. That's right. Well, you obviously you don't want to be around people who are are actively yes. sick, but you do want to have a diverse and broad social network. It's very important for your health. Good for the mind, good for the body, I Absolutely. guess. Absolutely. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, you so much. Back.